Hey, welcome to Mooney Reads. My name is Beck, and today I'm going to be talking about my Gender and Sexuality Studies Topical TBR. If you're not familiar with my Topical TBRs, I'll leave the playlist for you. Basically, what I've done is I've put together reading lists that aren't necessarily bound by time, but they are specific to a topic, and they are the books that I would like to complete at some point related to that topic. Now, a lot of the book lists that I have put together, I like sat and did research on it and bought books specifically for this list. This is one that's developed a little bit more organically, although I can't say I haven't done any research because I have a sociology degree and a graduate certification in women's and gender studies. So like I have an idea of books that would be good. But if I were to start doing good research on this and like getting a lot of text, it it would just be outrageous. I would not be able to stop myself. I already have a hard time going way too deep. It would just not be pretty. So I'm going to talk about the books that I have. Um, books that are related to this. You can also check out my LGBT history TBR and my HIV and AIDS history TBR. There's definitely going to be some overlap here, especially with my LGBT history TBR. Um, so let's get into it. All of these are related to sexuality and gender, the realm of gender studies, and so forth. Like I said, I've read a fair amount on the topic because it's what I studied. Um, and some of these I've actually read like sections of or chapters of. I just haven't read the whole thing from cover to cover because that wasn't possible in the middle of grad school when I had to like read the chapters that were relevant um, and didn't have time to really digest the whole thing. So I'll start with the books that I am part of the way through and was intending to read from cover to cover that's not to say that I am reading them right now my current read shelf is complicated um but first we have nobody passes rejecting the rules of gender and conformity by Matilda Bernstein Sycamore this is an anthology where people are talking about their experiences with queerness it's talking about gender, it's talking about sexuality, disability, race. It covers a lot. My idea for this is that it's going to be a slow read and I'm going to read like chunks at a time. I'm not really full through on that just yet, um, but rest assured it will get read. The other one that I started reading and really need to get to um, is Borderlands La Frontera by Gloria Enzaldúa. Gloria Enzaldúa and her like concept of the borderlands is super important. She's talking about um, her identity as Chicana and her identity as a lesbian, kind of being in the in-between, in the borderlands. I've gone through this one a little bit more slowly because there are chunks that are in Spanish and I want to be able to give each of those pieces the time that it deserves, but I need to get back to it. Uh, but this is a classic. I've read chunks of stuff that she's written before, but I just have not gotten through this whole thing quite yet. Then we can get to the stack behind me. <laughs> I'll just go from the top of the stack. There's not really a method to it. Um, so we have Ace, What Asexuality Reveals About Desire, Society, and the Meaning of Sex by Angela Chen. Like the cover says, this focuses on asexuality. I have not seen a whole lot of books that focus specifically on the ace community. Um, Invisible Orientations, which I have on my shelf over there, is one of the only other ones that I've seen. That's not to say that there aren't more out there or that it's not talked about in anthologies. Um, I've certainly seen studies done. I actually used a couple um, in particular that look in the ACE community that I had to cite in my thesis. But it's exciting to see kind of a newer book come out. Next, I have uh, one that I've very recently obtained. That is Cruising Utopia, the then and there of queer futurity. So this is more like queer theory. I'm super stoked about it. Then I have Beyond Trans, Does Gender Matter? This is actually one that I saw recommended on BookTube. The person's name escapes me right now because head is empty, but I will be sure to link their uh, count hopefully their video in the comments so that you can check it out. It sounded really interesting and they talked pretty highly of the book from what I remember. Highly enough that I went and bought a copy. A used copy. It looks like a library book, but it's, I promise I didn't steal it. 
Then I have Burn the Binary, Selected Writing on the Politics of Being Transgender, Queer, and Non-Binary by Richie Wilchkins. Um, Ricky Wilchkins was the person who popularized the term genderqueer, so this is kind of a central reading in that regard. I read Genderqueer, which was one of the anthologies that Z was an editor of last year and it was super great. That was a pretty important text in the early 2000s and it was an anthology of different people who transgressed gender in a number of different ways and their essays in it were excellent so I am super excited to get to this. Then I have The Life and Death of Letitia King, A Critical Phenomenology of Transphobia by Gail Salomon. Um, it kind of tells you what it's about all in the title. Uh, phenomenology basically means that it's looking at a specific phenomenon using the case study of Letitia King, whose death is often painted as a homophobic hate crime, but this book goes into why it's important to recognize that it is a transphobic hate crime. Next, we have Trapdoor, Transcultural Production and the Politics of Visibility. Um, edited by Rihanna Gossett, Eric A. Stanley, and Johanna Burton. I'm currently reading one of Eric A. Stanley's other books, Captive Genders, which is uh, going really wonderfully, so I'm super excited to see what their other anthology looks like. Then I have Whipping Girl by Julia Serrano. Um, and this is one that I have read bits and pieces of, and this is one of the kind of essential gender studies texts. Um, this is super important looking at the trans experience, specifically trans women experience. The next book that I have is more centered around um, like women's and gender studies, specifically not necessarily LGBT studies, which is what the rest of these books are. But this is a book that I want to read before I get to the next two books. And that is Man Made Language by Dale Spencer. This is a book that was given to me by one of the teachers that I was working with. And it's talking about like the way that we talk. It also talks some about naming. I haven't read it yet, so I can't say too much. Um, but I'd really like to get into this and hopefully read it before I read the stuff that's a little bit more specific to sexuality. This book is actually more heavily linguistics, but it's still related to LGBT studies. That is What's Your Pronoun Beyond He and She by Dennis Barron. And this is kind of the history of pronouns. Then the other linguistics related book um, is Speaking in Queer Tongues, Globalization and Gay Language. So talking about language globally. A lot of the LGBT terminology that we tend to focus on is very Western. Um, so this kind of gets into some global perspectives. And that book is one that I want to read before I get to the next book, which is The Pink Line, Journeys Across the World's Queer Frontiers. And this could technically be an LGBT history. A lot of these have crossover. But this is looking at language and culture, um, and it's kind of a more recent history. The next book that I have that focuses on LGBT studies is Poor Queer Studies, Confronting the Elitism in University by Matt Brim. So this kind of combines class um, as well as LGBT studies and kind of specifically looks at academia. Then I have Contesting Intersex, The Dubious Diagnosis by George Ann Davis. And I had the pleasure of seeing George Ann Davis talk a few years back and uh, their research was super interesting. Um, she is intersex, and she does her research with the intersex community. I've read the article that she has in Sex Matters, um, which is kind of an intro to sexuality studies textbook that I've uh, used in a class that I've taught. So I'm super excited to get into all of kind of the research that she did. Next, I have Black Queer Studies, a critical anthology. Um, so this is looking at the intersection of race and LGBT identity. Similar to that, um, I also have Not Straight, Not White, Black Gay Men from the March on Washington to the AIDS Crisis. So Black Queer Studies is an anthology, but Not Straight, Not White is uh, kind of a thorough history that one person has done. I wasn't sure whether or not 
to kind of put it on the HIV and AIDS DVR. That's only one of the things that it talks about, though. Although looking at the AIDS crisis from a Black perspective is incredibly important and unfortunately kind of hard to find books on, which is wild, especially like books specifically about queer Black people, which is wild just because of who it has impacted. There's certainly a chance that I'm overlooking something huge, but I am excited to be able to get into that. Next, I have Homosexuals Challenging the Assumptions about Gender and Sexuality, but edited by Carol Queen and Lawrence Schimmel. This is an anthology, uh, kind of looking at sexuality, gender, um, and this one is a little bit older. A couple of them are a little bit older, actually, and I have not mentioned it whatsoever, but this was published in the late 90s. So this would have been probably around the same era as Ricky Wilkins was writing um, and kind of looking at more queer sexualities and so forth. The next book that I have in the stack, I'm actually pretty sure I've read most of, um, but it's kind of one that I've read like a reading here and there. I'd like to get into it and be sure that I've read all of it though. And that is Transforming Feminisms, Trans Feminist Voices Speak Out. And I think this is another one that I got from the same teacher who gave me the um, Dale Spencer book. She gave me several books, um, including another book about the trans experience that I've already read. But like it says, it's looking at the trans experience um, kind of as it pertains to feminism. This was published in 2006. Then the next book that I have is That's Revolting, Queer Strategies for Resisting Assimilation, edited by Matilda Bernstein Sycamore. And the last three books that I have, I was kind of on the fence about whether to include in this list or to leave them with the memoirs because they're about individual perspectives on gender and sexuality, which the first book that I talked about was too, but that's really talking about like queerness. So it had a different like vibe. And I feel like vibes aren't a really good reason to put a book in one list rather than the other. So um, the other books that I have on this list that are probably more accessible. We have By Any Other Name, Bisexual People Speak Out. This was published in the early 90s, but it is talking about the bisexual experience. Then I have Trans Love, an anthology of transgender and non-binary voices. This is a newer anthology, but this is looking at love, not just romantic love, although that is a piece of it, um, but it also looks at like familial love, I would imagine kind of the queer found family bit. This was definitely on a TBR in one of the earlier months last year that I just did not get to, but I do genuinely want to get to it. Then the final book that I have is Gender Outlaws, The Next Generation by Kate Bornstein and S. Bear Bergman. I read Gender Outlaw on Men, Women, and the Rest of Us by Kate Bornstein last year, and it was really wonderful. And this is an anthology that they coordinated um, and edited with S. Bear Bergman, where people are talking about their own individual perspectives and experiences on gender. Then the only other things that I have aren't technically books. They are um, journals. I honestly forgot where I got these. I don't know if I got them at the used bookstore or if they were free books that were sitting around my department, but they are the Journal of Lesbian and Gay Studies, uh, two volumes from 2016, um, and I would like to get to them. So those are my plans. It's gonna take a while to work my way through all of it, but it's going to be a good time. If you've read any of these, definitely let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. And if you have any suggestions based off of the stuff that I've talked about, please let me know about them. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.